Hi guys, this is Jessica from Greengate Images, and I wanted to address a question I get a lot about cordial templates, and that is how to tile different versions of the template onto one page. Like in this case, it's gift tags, and a lot of times people have several names, and so they want to be able to tile them on, onto a page, which is exactly what I intend for customers to be able to do. And this applies to anything that's smaller than a page that will tile, like place cards, bookmarks, and lots of other things. So just keep watching and I'll explain how. Okay, so when you first go to your template that you've purchased, um, it'll look something like this. This is obviously just an example, but you'll have one copy of your item. And then I always include instructions. They're different depending on the item, but I just wanted to point this out because it does cover how to tile things. Um, you could zoom in on this and there's little videos. And so definitely read the instructions. It can be really helpful as a refresher if you don't remember this video later on. Going back to the tag, we'll just have one copy. You can see there's page one of one to begin. And that's so that you can make any adjustments you want before you make a bunch of things. And so you don't have to adjust several of them. Uh, so let's say you wanted to have different names on this gift tag like I had in the initial example. You just go here first and you could just double click on this um, and type in your first name. Let's go with Charlotte. And then if you want to adjust it, like say that's not big enough for you, then you can um, make your adjustments, use these little handles. And this is all other stuff I can cover in other videos, but um, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can change the color. You can use the eyedropper to change the color. Whoops. Um, and you can change the font. I usually include several font options. Um, and so once you have it set up like you want, then all you need to do is go in and duplicate the page. And that's this button right up here. Um, it looks like two little pieces of pa paper stuck to each other. Don't confuse it with this one on the side over here because that is for um, like duplicating this text box. Anyway, so once you're done, press duplicate. You'll notice now you have page two of two. So you have two identical pages. So on the second page then, you'll just go and go in here and you're gonna change this name to whatever you need. Um, if you want to resize it and adjust it, you can, or you can just leave it as is to make it consistent. And now you'll notice that you'll have two different names. Now you can keep doing this um, on and on. Actually, there's no limit, but I recommend staying below about 25 names just because on Cordial, it can often get kind of sluggish if you are having a document that's really huge. But I usually provide plenty of downloads so that you can make a large number of tags. You can always check the listing. It always explains how many downloads you get and when it expires. And you can also ask me. Okay. So once you have it, fit all your names in there, I'm going to actually just go ahead and add one more. Let's go ahead and put, oops, I guess that's similar to Charlotte. I couldn't think. <laughs> and let's just change the color of this for fun. Just so you can see. Um, always make sure to save your changes. Now I tend to save like all the time when I'm working on stuff. It's just an automatic thing. I save like every few seconds. I'm so paranoid of losing my work, <laughs> but make sure you save before you download or exit out of the tab because it will not automatically save. So to download your tags, now that you've filled in the names you want, you just click on the download button. You'll want to choose PDF because that's the only format that lets you tile the page. There's also JPEGs and PNGs that are available, but it doesn't let you tile. Hit next and it presents you with some more options here. Um, paper size, it defaults to eight and a half by 11, but you can switch to different sizes if you, if your printer has different sizes. And then you can show trim marks, that's crop marks for the tags. Some of my tags have outlines and some don't, so it would really depend on that and whether you want a really clean cut or not. Um, and then you could see when I turn on trim marks, it changes how many tags actually fit on the page because there's a little bit more space between them. I'm gonna turn that off. And then it defaults to having multiples per page, which is good to begin with, because if you turn that off, it's just gonna have one little tag in the middle. So we want it to do multiples, but we want it to have different designs. So we just toggle this little switch right here 
and now it's going to show all three names and it puts it duplicates the names to fill the page so since we only have three different names it actually has four copies to fit the 12 slots but if you had 12 different names that would fit all of them on here and down here you could see it's only one page now so you don't you have a much smaller document and then you just go ahead and click on download and that's it I hope this was clear and helpful, but please let me know if you have further questions. Thank you so much for watching the video. <laughs> Bye.